In this video today, I'm going to be demonstrating regrouping three digit by three digit um, addition equations. So in the past, when I was a student, we would have learnt the vertical addition method, which is just putting the numbers down underneath each other and using trading and borrowing in order to solve your equation. So I'm going to demonstrate to you why this is not always the most effective strategy. So I'm going to show you here, if we had an equation that looked like this, and I used my vertical addition regrouping, I would have to do nine plus nine plus nine, which equals 27, put down the two, seven, carry the two, nine plus nine plus nine, which equals 27, plus the two, which equals 29, and the same again. And as you can see, that obviously couldn't be done mentally in your head. Whereas if I look at these numbers differently and I use a different strategy, I would be able to look at these numbers and say 999 is only one off 1000. I can add 1000, 2000, 3000, take away my three and arrive at the same number mentally very easily. So that's why I wanted to explain to you that there are different strategies that we can use. Today I'm going to be using the split strategy to solve um, a different addition equation so if I had the number 374 and I was going to add it to 272, I want to look at these numbers in terms of their place value holders. So I want to look at this number 374 and I want to show it as 300 plus 70 plus 4. And I want to look at this number as 200 plus 70 plus 2. If I think of the numbers in this way, it makes it a lot easier for me to be able to solve this either in my head or with actually understanding why I am doing my trading and regrouping. So here I can add my 300 and 200, which would equal 500. I can add my 70 and 70 using my doubles facts, which equals 140. And I can add my four and two, which equals six. Here, I can either do one of two things. I can either add 500 plus 140, equaling 640, and add the six, which equals 646. Or I could also demonstrate that here, this is my tens column, and I have gone over 100. So I do want to take this 100 and put it over in the 100s column. So I can simply just take that out and change this one to a six, 600. And 46. There is a different strategy in order to solve addition.